I just got my ass vibrated on here at CES 2024. What actually happened is I got a chance to experience Razer's Project Esther. It is a seat cushion that fits onto most office or gaming chairs. It is a proof of concept for Razer's Sensa HD immersive haptic platform that is uh, launched here at CES 2024. Now, according to Razer, this is the world's first HD haptic gaming cushion. Basically, what it means is it's providing you these uh, vibrations on the seat. And of course, it doesn't sound like anything new. It sounds like a more, you know, high-end sort of chair. But, but what's more interesting, at least to me, is what Razer is calling its true positional haptics. There are 16 actuators on the seat cushion that give you a sense of, uh, or the ability to detect the direction from which the vibration is happening. Really, what I should be explaining to you is how everything felt when I actually set through the demos. So Razer had the Project Esther seat map set up at Suite here at CES 2024 and walked me through three different experiences. One was just kind of a demo of the system. So it showed me how I could feel maybe growing intensity of vibration to explain or sort of give the impression that something is creeping up on me from a distance or getting further away. Then there was another part of the demo that helped me understand when vibration was happening from left to right, right to left. Basically, I would describe it as Dolby surround sound, but with vibration. Now, the experience was also paired with uh, a pair of Razer headsets that did very good noise cancelling and also had surround sound involved. So, all together, I did feel like I was kind of being attacked from all sides, really. The next part of the demo was a game. So, I played Mortal Kombat and I kicked ass because I was so focused on taking down the enemy that I wasn't really paying attention to how the haptics contributed to the experience. But the one thing I wanted to explain with this is uh, the demo was actually how the Project Esther cushion would work based on a game that wasn't retuned to feature specific vibration patterns. This is really just uh, Razer software kind of customizing. So you could use it on music, you could use it on movies, and the algorithm or the software would just take the sound patterns and create the vibration patterns in tandem. Finally, Razer let me experience uh, something called Mech Warrior, where it was already tailored to work with Sensa. This means that the intensity, the direction, the, the, all the different tactility of the actuators were tuned for individual weapons and different types of uh, experiences within this game. So as I was shooting laser beams or bullets at far off enemies, I actually was able to feel like a little bit of a difference. The lasers, for example, had a more sustained and gritty kind of feel to them, whereas the bullets flew out very quickly and more, they were more staccato and bouncy. Project Esther is again a proof of concept device. Razer has no intentions of selling it yet, but it may well start making these for sale. You never know. Razer's actually done this in the past with previous concept devices. Whether or not you get to experience this in your home or whether you're going to buy one for yourself does boil down to things like cost and whether your favorite game works well with it and whether you really need that additional vibration. That's not all that Razer showed at CES 2024. Make sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and for all the news out of CES 2024, hit our subscribe button.